Welcome to Notre Dame College, where every student is our most important student. For nearly a century, Notre Dame College has offered an outstanding liberal arts education with a personal touch. Our faculty and staff are passionate about preparing students for successful and meaningful lives after college. Located just 25 minutes from downtown Cleveland, Ohio, our vibrant, friendly, and diverse 48-acre campus is the choice of more than 2,000 students from 40 states and 22 countries. We have 22 scholarship sports and a wide variety of extracurricular activities, clubs, and organizations. We are the perfect size, large enough for an exciting college experience, but still able to ensure small class sizes and individual attention. Notre Dame College, a Catholic institution in the tradition of the Sisters of Notre Dame, educates a diverse population in the liberal arts for personal, professional, and global responsibility. We invite you to tour the campus in person and see the Notre Dame difference for yourself. The Office of Admissions will be glad to arrange for a visit where you'll learn more and meet with our outstanding faculty members and staff, all of whom are committed to making you feel welcome. just to get a degree. You can do that anywhere. Sure, you can get prepared for a career. But first, you have to want it. You actually have to believe that you, you have the potential to do it. We're not just born with that ability. Sometimes you have to learn how to believe in yourself. How to be the CEO of your own life. How to be an influencer, a leader. And when that's what you want to learn, it's simple. Come to Bonaventure.
Say, can you see by the dawn's early proudly we hailed at the twilight last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars
All right, ladies and gentlemen, viewers is Clemson. And man, I'm pumped up. We're lucky and fortunate enough to have the voice. All right, Jimmy, uh, you know, I know a lot about AIC, you know a lot about Clemson, so I think we're going to be able to rock this and we get the fans at home entertained. Now tell me a little bit about Clemson, your program, and what you guys got going on down there. Well, we've had a lot of success the last three or four years, and uh, we had a small setback with Joe. Came in, whole new system of rugby. You know, and the team really got behind it. They really started to work together and start to uh, really rugby. Open play, lots of kicks, expect a lot of box kicks. No real old school stuff anymore. Not, yep. not, that's a Clemson of the past. So we're going to see some <laughs> Not nothing but great rugby, the greatest. All right, fantastic. We got the greatest rugby playing, the number one ranked team in the country right now, AIC. Weapons all over the field. Who's the big that we Three key players. You got uh, number eight, Jason Dom, who is an All-American. Uh, anytime there's a scrum and Clemson wins it, there's always a uh, you Obviously, you have uh, the captain, Ryan Gilroy. Uh, I've never seen a player earn the title of captain like he has. He's going to... Uh, has a big voice in the field. You'll see him point to guys, yell at guys, tell guys what to do, and people, the players listen and respect him. And the third one is sophomore Winch High School in Washington, D.C. Came here, impressed the coaches, and has been a constant starter for the last two years. Uh, it started underway, and uh, right from the start, kick not coming off for Clemson the way that they would have wanted to. It didn't go the full distance, so ASC's got a great attacking position as a scrum. Warner's going to feed it in at the back is Anthony Cutler, but they win. Clemson turns over the ball, and now they're away to the house, but in the tackle, the ball is dropped down. Do need to Shea Edwards in there trying to clear. A good job of keeping the ball alive. That was, uh, you know, a big play with Ryan Gilroy, as I was saying. Anytime there's a scrum, there's a chance he could take it from you, and uh, proving it right there by making three guys make him tackle. Yeah, so uh, these jerseys looking really good. Last had a really good turnout, you know, uh, played South Carolina, and I was really impressed, and they, they won the Palmetto Bowl last year. Yeah, you know, especially uh, about three years ago, they beat us by a good bit, so it was a good revenge story, especially any time we can beat South Carolina in any sport, it's always nice. I know, it's Clemson, South Carolina, right? I think we're going to see one nude here, and so now we have Alex Wallers with the throw. This is a great attacking position, just inside the 22 at AIC. You see AIC, they're looking Going Justin... You want to Tommy Ripper right there, uh, little run to James Rogers. James Rogers. Any relation? Yeah, my little yeah. brother. My little brother. Little yep. brother. Right. I hate to say it. He won a national championship in high school. I, I couldn't do it. Yeah, but you're up here and you're a better broadcaster yeah. than him. That's all that matters. <laughs> Luckily, so, I don't think he, When he watches the feed. Now he got numbers out wide and there's just a big there hole out there. And then right away, let's go. Dylan Goulden, just talking about him, already making a big impact. It looks like Jihad Kabir, you know, he's, he's a danger man, but... That's not going to be dangerous whatsoever if you're Clemson. Committing penalties like that. Uh, I, I would guarantee money right now that we're going to try to ball, drive off the line out right now. Yep. You know, we've had some success, especially in the ACRL. It's going to be interesting with a team like They're going to test them early. They're going to test them right now with a driving ball. All right, so driving ball, you heard it here. It's going to come here. If they're able to take this, you know, AIC is looking to contest, so this could be a good option. You know, the back pot, it looks like them guys in the middle of the line out, they're looking to defend. Got Justin Lee. Go up if the ball goes short. He's got some serious hops at six foot six too. He's a big unit. It's going to come down to whether they can hold. It. Here comes the drive. So the drive's on. The ball starting to get formed. AIC. Oh, there it they, looks they, like a breakaway. And they're looking to get low. Good body position. They have repelled the attack as it's coming forward. Look for Clemson to just use their forwards and not even think about passing out to their backs. Oh, and it's like right there. Stood up. I mean, rolled it back. Got Great defense from AIC right here. Low, hitting hard, not giving an inch to Clemson. Yeah, AIC definitely. And that's There's a try. There's a try. Uh, not quite sure about that. It looked like Eric Kramlick, the uh, converted uh, fl flanker who's getting his uh, first few starts. He's last. He's I, I, yeah, I believe it was Eric Kramlick. But it, or it might be Jason Dom. Can't tell if it's eight or seven. Try right there. AIC was not giving it up an inch. Clemson was just knocking on the door with their forwards. You know, expect Clemson to do that when they get deep in uh, defenders' territory. They're just going to use their forwards because that has hurt them in the past. So ball retention is the name of the game when Clemson gets within 10 meters of the try zone. So right away, I mean, Clemson just comes right out, not afraid of AIC. That's a number of things that you see that people would happen. Throughout the year, you know, they'd play AIC, and Josh would mention, you know, and they'd be like, oh, man, we got to play AIC. I was talking with the Tonight. Oh, yeah, they're confident. They're yep. definitely confident. They're, they were careful not to be cocky going into this one, but they knew that if they played this that AIC is a great team, and it's going to take almost perfect rugby to beat this team. And, I mean, when the matchups came out, this was definitely the one that a number of people were saying, this is going to be the match. Pay attention to it. And, I mean, Clemson's ready. Five minutes in, 
five nothing. Oh yeah, that, that was huge for this team. This team really buried down, but it's up to AIC now to stop them. So you got Louis Satama. He's going to be doing the restart for AIC. He's phenomenal. He's wearing the 15 for three. You know, Deshae Edwards as well, and then you got Christian Adams on the other wing. And I mean, just total monarch three from Clemson. So the ball's deep. They're going to go ahead. They're going to send it for a little bit of territory. Christian Aaron, Adams Aaron, underneath it. Aaron Kears with the kick there. He's been known to kick for Clemson. If so he has a offensive line, this is what he does all season long. He's still alive. He gets it to Dooney, Deshea Edwards. Deshea Edwards gets a good roll around, and now they're going. They're he's turned to hit back. Big hit by Jason Dom right there. That's the All-American coming out and doing what he does best and hitting hard. So it's coming up now, and, and what a fantastic start. Well, it's a penalty going the way you hear. Looks Deshea, like offside's the call. Offsides, and it's Deshea Edwards is getting all juiced up for this right now. There's a big test for Clemson here. You know, they were see after a lot of work to see if they can do, uh, if they can hold them off here. So they're going to go with the tap and go. They got a oh, big number. Jamal Hodley, he's from, uh, he's from Georgia. Unit right there. Augusta, Georgia coming right at it. Jamal, all sorts of nasty. Gavin DeMore Morrison, now he's going to straighten up. He is a threat, one of their best players on the team for sure. God's hands, and then in the AP, he's one of their best players, hands down. And he's just a big unit. Held up right there. Wow, great effort. A lot of course. It's going to call here. Looks like he's going to be talking to somebody. So there's a way of AIC here. So now, if they're attacking, and say that they decide to uh, go with the pick and go, your defense on your uh, weak side pick and goes? Well, you got James Rogers there at Flanker, and he was an, uh, an All-American wrestler back in high school. He knows how to, he knows all about leverage. He can down, you know, he's one of the best on the field right now. But at the same time, you know, these AIC players are so big, it's not going to be easy to take one of these guys down alone. So Curtis Warner with the feed. The ball starting to get its way back. Clemson, Thomas hands. Lewis, Thomas now. He's going up. He's still going. Colin Gregory, the big tackle there. So it looks like Clemson is hey, Jason, the damn, that's over. a is doing what he does best. He is an unbelievable player. The things that he can do out of make something out of nothing is unreal. Oh, great job oh. coming in and uh, going to get a knock on. Good play, but they're going to come back for the knock on advantage, and it's going to be a scrum down to Clemson. Now, when Clemson's coming out here, I expect a kick out. Oh, Hit by wow. Michael Krupp, but not held, so he gets up and goes. Michael Krupp looks injured on the play. And now out there in Jahad Kabir. They can't bike General Lamu, the freshman starter. So yeah. now it's going in. And looking just on the outside, AIC is on the corner, and that's a try for AIC all the way down. And it looks like you have a man that's down right yeah, now. Yeah, it looks like Michael Krupp, the, uh, one of the two freshman starters here on this team. He's been an absolute, uh, you know, his first game he played for Clemson, he had three tries. So, you know, if they lose him, it's a really big loss. Looks if he's down and out for the game, it's a big hit for Clemson. And that that try for AIC, I don't know if you saw it. It was, uh, it was a 10 on 10 match. You know, Dan Collins just didn't get his hips down low enough and miss a tackle. Yeah, Jihad will make people miss. I mean, he floats around the pitch. That's a sophomore fly in D.C. Also, uh, Adrian Ray, one of the guys that's out there, also known as AP. Yeah, he and Christian Washington, D.C. together. Um, and just a, a factory of rugby players that have now migrated up to Springfield, up in Massachusetts, 30 minutes from my hometown. I love Springfield, up and raised in Springfield. Small world. Small world. And, um, you know, now we got any indication of this game, it's going to be, this is going to be a barn burner. Oh, absolutely. This is going to be, I think it's going to be whichever team scores last is going to win this game. And to your point of the old uh, D.C. thing, you know, Clemson's got the same thing going from, uh, we got four starters from Gonzaga College High Northwest D.C., and so, we got Josh Driscoll from. Uh, so if we're talking about storylines, man, these guys have been playing against each other for close, oh yeah. close to six years. Oh, yeah. Yep. Uh, Captain Ryan Gilroy knows half this team playing them in high school, and he said they were. Yep. Phenomenal athletes, upstanding gentlemen as well. That's one of the big things that Josh Macy really Rob out there for career. Yeah. I mean, that's always <laughs> doing that full time. Uh, he's pretty committed, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Michael Krupp's still down, unfortunately. Uh, getting tended to by Gage Berry, one of the medical staff at Fort Clemson University. He's been with us for uh, almost a year now. He's been doing a great job so far. No serious injuries, luckily. A um, few head injuries, but nothing too bad. He's done a great job. So our training staff getting out there. Fantastic training. They've uh, been on point all day today, you know, addressing whatever injuries are out there, taking care of the players. That's one of the biggest things, too. You know, in rugby, a 
felt fortunate enough in the injury end, but yeah, a little bit of a shorter season, so you're not getting those, you know, 15 to 20 games in a row. Yeah, it's a physical absolutely. game, and you know, the culmination of it right here, you know, they, it, it's been a, it's been a long road for a lot of these guys. Yeah, you really have the culmination on you, and if you don't get them treated like right away, your body starts to break down. And you know, hats off to this medical staff working all hard all day today. I say it was. Uh, we gotta give a round of applause there from the crowd as it comes out. It's uh, Michael Krupp getting helped off the field, walking on his own accord. Which is nice to see. See if he's able to come back into this game. By the looks of it, I'd be surprised if he comes back. Yeah, I, I would say out there getting a bike. That's uh, that's Nick out there. The guy running across the pitch. You can't see him now, but he just mic'd up the ref. That way, you guys. And interesting fact: Nick came to us and started playing, and he was a male cheerleader. Really? Never played rugby before, never wow. played a contact sport, and he's actually our, also the guy handling our audio today, doing the switchers, getting around, you know, next level rugby, doing a great job. We've got a fantastic crew. You know, Valentin Torellis over here on the center camp. On the right, we got Zach Johnson. To our left is Orlando Nugent, and then on the field running around like a madman, that's Connor <laughs> out there. Good, nice, nice and tight ground shots. In the booth, we got Aiden. He's controlling everything, switching it back and forth. And then you got Charlie <laughs> for producing this event for all of us out here. So, you know, and then we got Jimmy Ripper up in the booth with us too. The hey, voice of fear, you know, rugby. I mean, uh, I can't say I'm working as hard. Yeah, I'm honored. I'm yeah. honored. It's a real, it's a real great experience. And uh, that was a difficult kick he just made right there. That one. And now it's a tie game. So Let's see if Dan Collins gets <laughs> 10 yards and he does. A high, short kick. Exactly what he wanted. Jason Dom going for the lift. By uh -huh. AIC. So Justin Leapart able to go up, he gets it, brings it down. Now Curtis Warner looks to get it out. He's going to move it through his forwards, going to come straight up, and that's through Anthony Cutler, I'm sorry. Now Jihad, now he looks to find a hole. He slips right through, and Jihad's hard to get. Oh, that offload, it didn't come to play hand, on. but I mean, it was fantastic uh, offload. Ref says play on. on. The ball coming right through. Like Dylan Goulding jump, jumping over the ruck there. You don't see that every day. Jamal Hadley lowering the shoulder. He's a whole lot of work. I think Warner's going to go up to the box, the box kick. kick. And now he's got Jihad chasing on there. Aaron Kears to cover. Oh, oh. Aaron Kears cannot get a good hold. Kick back. I think he uh, didn't catch it before he started running. It was just a lack of focus right there. I think he got a little bit antsy on that. He saw it. You know, Jihad was chasing, kind of cut, and then yeah, momentary last concentration. That's all it takes, Jimmy. When you got a player like Jihad coming at you, it's hard to focus on the ball. You're worried about not getting killed. So Jihad, he may be about a buck sixty, but I've seen him lay people out like I, I don't even know what. And you're looking at it, you're like, wow. And it, you know the way he's thinking about the game and the way he's handling himself, you know, physically, it's just different. So Curtis Warner, nice job of flicking the ball back as he gets Good pressure by Ryan Gilbert. Warner, but the pressure from Clemson coming on. You know, it's something that they've been working on all day. I mean, all week, just getting pressure up, coming together as a team, They're not releasing against AIC. Look for Ryan Gilbert to try to find touch here. He's an almost perfect this season with finding touch. That is a nothing worse than when you don't find touch in a team, especially if you're not ready for it. You see a lot of undisciplined teams. They're not up on the line. They'll come. You got experience. You know they'll just go right away and they'll kick. Won't be a good defensive line. Then all of a sudden, it's swung all the way around. Yeah. The back door's open. Absolutely nothing certain in rugby. You know if you're if you're caught. Luckily, Ryan Gilroy has helped this team a lot by getting out. All right, ball goes out to James Rogers. He gets a finger on it. Picked up by Tommy Rippert. It looks like. Oh, AIC man, able to maintain possession. The Clemson defense okay, coming up in the line now. Nice tackle taken in there, looking for the way. The ref's going to bring it on. back for a knock on. He's going to say, no advantage coming. Let's go set it down and have a scrum. Clemson got pretty lucky there. They were really scrambling to get back on defense. Uh, AIC has some numbers. So, so far, not the prettiest game in the world. Uh, some knock on some drops, some penalties. But, you know, these two teams are just going after it right now. They're, they're fired up, but I'm just sitting here thinking about how me and you we got a good play going back and forth, but we're going 100 miles an hour because it's the speed of this game. Oh, yeah. My lips are going to be sore after this one. I got some chapsticks, so it'll be fine. <laughs> Perfect. So Jihad takes it off the deck. He's going to go back out to Louis Satama. Louis is going to look to, hey, he's got Christian Adams and Deshae Edwards chasing out for Clemson, and they get out of it. I think it was off Clemson, but I think that the referee is going to give it to AIC. I mean, give it to Tigers. Give it to Tigers. So a little conference there, and that is going to be a Clemson ball. You know, Aaron Kears, that's the second time getting back there. He needed to catch the ball clean. But still, it's two in a row. You know, he's got to be able to catch those balls. If Clemson wants a chance of uh, winning this game. Later. So it's over the top and then right into the back, and that's the mouth of the South Blake Gurgle. The mouth crushed in there. Good pressure coming on from 
Wow, that was a heck of a charge from Dyson right there. Was that him? Dyson yeah, that's Josh Dyson. Josh Dyson also from the Washington, D.C. The referee might be calling offside, it looks like. It's lucky not to get a card here. because That was a big hit. No more penalties like silly penalties in the red zone. Yep, no cards given. So uh, good break for the Tigers. Next offside, I expect a yellow card. He never pulled it. He never pulled it when you pull it. So the game being played at a frenetic pace, and you're going to see ASC doesn't want to go for post. Curtis Warner wants to run it up. Looks like Gab Jihad. Now they're going to go behind. Jihad's going to try and dance around. He gets into Louis Satama. Louis hits a line, taken down. Curtis out for the crowd cheering. Gab, Gab, Gab. Oh, you're off your feet, Lawrence. Let's go. Now there's a shoe definitely. out there down there. Somebody's playing shoe. <laughs> oh, AP, Adrian Ray, AP. Adrian Ray coming in and just too much for Aaron Cares to take down at that pace. You know, going into this game, Clemson knew that it was going to come down to their backs, and so far, AIC has the advantage. They swung the ball out wide to the right, didn't get it, swung the ball out wide to the left. It's something Clemson hasn't seen so far in this season. You know, they're used to teams who like to run up the gut with their forwards and then swing it out wide. So, so you see this, and this is what I love their family. They've traveled from a long way. You know, why not, man? Oh, like, absolutely. Go out there, high-five it, absolutely. have it, enjoy the moment. It's on, crowd here, soak it in, soak it in. Especially, you know, you earn it after that 10-plus hour drive. Absolutely. 13, and we're an hour south of Springfield. Oof. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, they, you know what? If they make that trip, they can have a tea party in the tri zone for all I care. Yeah. So, Lewis, Tom. We've got a great view going on. Not an easy angle, but he converted the last one. Let's see if he can do it. He converted a very similar kick on the opposite. So, Louis Satama, Alex Goff telling me he is out of Olympia, Washington. Absolute and the man beauty. From Olympia with the fifth corner. Unbelievable kick. All right, Clemson's got to uh, cannot let this game get out of hand. You know, dropping seven, dropping 14 in a row right now. They have to either uh, start percent rugby or they just have to, uh, I don't know, accept loss, I guess. They need something big here. Yeah, they just need to get back to that form they had at the beginning. You know, there's also on the team. They both play second row. So. Ryan Gilroy swings the ball out to Nick Bilgery. Nick known as Deep Dish because he's from the heart of Chicago. Good so pizza. New York pizza's Not better. It's debatable. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Ryan oh, oh, the ball King behind the ball Gavin Gavin back for the original knock on. So Jimmy's going to be happy with that one. His brother's got to get another stab at this. Uh, if they feed the ball in the with the scrum no, feed going to Clemson. Some success recently. You know, he's played hooker, flanker, prop. He's playing prop right now, but fully expecting to be moved to hooker. Uh, Alex Wallers, Wallers getting his uh, second start of the year that, uh, due to some injuries that have prevented us from uh, keeping the same lineup every week. But uh, he's done a really good job. Lineouts have been a little suspect. Some not straight, some overthrows that we saw earlier in the game. So far, have been solid. Let's hope uh, for their sake that it stays. As you see in the back there, number five and number four, that is Stewart and Ethan Haar. That's a freshman and junior brother combination, arm in arm, solidly and figuratively. You guys right. are your nice blue blazers, the Clemson blazers down there. Some miscommunication there. Jason but doesn't know what to do with it. Keeps Somehow keeps the ball in his hands. AIC trying to force him out. Looks like the rest are going to call the original knock on against AIC between the captain Ryan Gilroy and Jason Dom or if that ball was just muffed a little bit in the scrum. Either way, not a good play for uh, both teams. We'll get another try at the scrum. Uh, Dan Collins uh, playing fly half right now. He's had a quite an interesting year. Started out as a uh, hooker. All ACRL last year hooker. All ACRC last year hooker. And this year due to injuries, we had to put him to uh, number 10, which he's not quite used to playing, but he's done a pretty good job doing it. Roy. Dan Collins was just talking about passes out to uh, Get a good ball goes out to Aaron Kears. Aaron Kears still with the ball there. Good support by the Clemson backs. It's been a struggle for them to get those backs into those rucks as they usually rely on the forwards. Dan Collins met hard by AIC defense. James Rogers, James Rogers, the All-American wrestler in high school, was just a ferocious athlete. Awful to go against in practice. That kid has no dimmer switch. Zero to 100. Looks like there'll be a penalty here against AIC. So a lot of Clemson rugby in the last couple of minutes in here. And right in front of us, it's been good for us to view it, but haven't really gotten too much ground. You know, a couple of reset scrums or a couple of scrums coming back and forth and knock-ons from AIC. Just, you can just jar AIC. That's what they need to do. They need to disrupt their rhythm, their Exactly. Confidence. 
confidence. And if they can do that and they can get under their skin, it's very hard to get under their skin. Yeah. But it, 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 it's being able to, to get into that vibe. And uh, they, they'll have the opportunity of uh, taking this game. All right, here we go. Line out. Redemption. Another and overthrow for Alex Wallers. And Cheese has got the ball. He's taking it straight up. Cheese gets a nice roll to keep that ball alive. First step, and he's going. Taken down. Support yeah, comes in. And now Warner's getting the ball out. Jihad takes it through. Jihad dancing, but finally taken up. Puts the ball on the deck behind him. Clemson struggling to get their defensive pattern in order. A lot of, lot of uh, activity in that breakdown there. You know, I'd love to see what's going on. A nice tight shot. Be right in for you. Perfect. Tackler roll. Thank you. AIC is continuing to use their muscle and just pound the ball right down the Clemson defense. Hold them off here. Try to force them to make a mistake. And there it is. Drop Let ball. Picked up by Dan Collins. Very Knockout sorry. advantage for the Tigers. Dan there. There's Jason Don, the All-American. Bring the ball out. Takes three or four players every time to bring Very him down, but the ball is not done. Looks like we're going to go to the original knockout against AIC of Clemson. As we said earlier, Clemson's been stuck in the same spot for the last 10 or so minutes. Getting some good uh, uh, offense going. Well, they have good high retention as of now. They're just not breaking the line like they want to. No, and now it's uh, the majority of the out on offense. You know, and AIC is playing a lot of defense right now. Yeah, and you know, these uh, are... Jason good job. Curtis Warner coming up and slowing it down. Gavin's going to try and clean it up and drag him to the touchline. Looks like we're playing again. Ryan Gilroy trying to figure out some gameplay going. A big counter ruck there late in the game. Very Ethan Howard with the ball all by himself, though. But Josh Dice with a decent big hit. Hold it. I've got a report of foul play. Thank you. So, so I was going to have a talk to. Uh, I think the referee spotted. I didn't see anything, but he's standing right there. So he's got a good thing. Talking about. Looks like he's saying he was coming in from the side. Yeah, there's a hit at the end there. It looked clean to me, but. Uh oh. Number one. So it looks like that may be Deshay Edwards. Okay. Card or goes to the. Uh, just a warning here. That's actually Tony Castro, I think, is getting the talking to. Deshay Edwards being the captain. He's telling him to walk away. Some frustration bowling over for the AIC team. Uh, I don't think he was happy with that. We can talk at the next breakdown. All right, so it'll be a penalty. Uh, there'll be no uh, no cards given, so it's one warning to both teams for two. So lineouts have been struggled, have been a huge struggling for uh, Clemson here. Alex Waller has two overthrows right now. AIC defending the front two jumpers. They uh, are letting Clemson throw the back. And then there's Gavin. Hold it. It was a knock wide. So it'll be a knock-on advantage given to the Tigers here. That's at least five consecutive knock-ons against AIC. It just looks like, you know, when something starts to get going, it's just it's the ball's being knocked forward by those guys. They get the ball the scrum right for the Tigers. It's really hurt. They're shooting themselves in the foot right now. And, you know, but the Tigers at the same time aren't, being, aren't capitalizing like they need to win this game. They have to be, make use of every mistake AIC makes because they don't make a lot of mistakes. Rock! So both teams kind of struggling. Uh, very intense physical game. Ball's out and taken by Jason Dom. Jason Dom fighting. Always takes three or four guys. Oh, no never seen right. by one man. That's that. Oh, that, oh it's still going. James Rogers with the ball now. Run away. He is an absolute machine. The I've ever seen from a, uh, oh, so the ball comes in. A nice little kick, but now it's into Lewis Dom's hands. You don't want it in there. He's got to send it nice and high. He's got a good boot behind the Take 22. They got a, they got a little bit of breathing room now, and they're going to send it up and uh, reset. And they're just inside the 50 meter line. Yeah, Clemson was there. You know, they had a great uh, opportunity, the cherry, but not really that uh, effi efficient uh, kick by Nick Bilger there. Whenever you see your, for a good sign. No, you don't want to see that. I mean, it was off the deck, it was sloppy, a little bit of soccer, but a good job taking it in the lineout. Clemson finally getting their groove with the lineouts going, and some big heads. Got to make doing it again. Dan Collins swing the ball out to the scrum half, Ryan Gilroy. Ryan Gilroy swings the ball out wide. And now Deshea Edwards in there. Knock on by AIC. AIC is really not doing themselves any favors, making this game very difficult for themselves with these drop passes. And, you know, Clemson, those 50-50 passes have really hurt them this season. You know, they've tried to make these offloads work, but sometimes they just don't happen. And right there, that was just a forced pass that didn't no, go their way. So, again, Clemson with the feed. Accomplish out of their set piece. Uh, anything that fancy, just try and get some open play. Look for some inside passes here, some blocking the defender up a little bit. 
once Clemson gets in the open field, they can really uh, put on the Jets. I like the I like the way that they switched the two time and didn't attack the line. Yeah, not very decisive by Ryan Gilroy there. Usually he's uh, very out of character for him. He's very good at making mistakes of himself, this AIC team giving him some trouble in the scrums there, so maybe so, that'd be big in his head. So now Jaha gets the ball in, and that's a good run coming. Jacob Pond, big unit you see right in there. No and hands. that's Jahad, that's which standing straight up, and there's no way a guy that's 160 pounds right in a ruck like that and fend oh, off this Clemson attack right. team. It's unbelievable. I mean, uh, it looked like Ryan Gilroy came in there with full head of speed right there, and just he just stood there like a wall. Oh, and Justin Leapart just carrying the ball. Boy, he just got rocked. And now Jihad's going to get the ball. He's a nice little dumb. He's going to flick it over the top. Christian Adams. Oh, that's a little bit of going on right now. I don't blame Christian for being angry at this. That was unnecessary, I think. Yeah, yeah that was Gary and Welch with the uh, he was a need to make. Uh, not something you want to see right now, especially at this point in the game. I yeah, mean, but you just know he's too stuffed up, man. No, he's too stuffed. Especially as you can get. But uh, surprise, the referee didn't give a talking to uh, Gary and right there. Yeah, I, th I think it's nice too, right? I mean, there's a little bit back and forth, but both parties just said, uh, we can talk and let's get out of here. And especially right in front of the fans, the best part. <laughs> exactly, you know, they came for the show and they got Five, it. So the rack is packed right six, now for this match. One of the main events in the bowl series. And Clemson right now like ball loses out. the ball. And then Christian Adams, he's looking for some payback now. Boom, oh, there's a train. On Keep it rolling, Christian Adams. <laughs> And a like penalty. penalty. Hold it. That is just Hold not it. a good series of defense. Captain. Two trucks for the same player. Dan Collins got the first one. That's number 23. That's got the crowd all fired up there. Yeah. Christian Adams. A lot of Christian okay. Adams fans here. As did Jihad's. Judson's family also coming in, you know, from uh, Virginia. And uh, around. So that's, I mean, that's pretty, that's just silly. That's just stupid. That's stupid. You don't want to do it. You're down seven by a very good AI. Moment yeah. Play, and then he's doing it again. Back to back, back to back. What didn't start this game? He's been a uh, around 30 minute to 60 minute mark sub and inexperienced. For AIC, Blaker Gold, the mouth of the South. He got that because he got kicked out of one. Not bad, bad, but he got thrown out. So Gavin Morrison now out to Jamal Hadley. Jamal Hadley now gets the ball out, and there's. The guy we were just talking about sitting through, he's got there. Christian he's got Adams on. Oh, just it didn't get there much. in time. Just too oh. much. That might be a try. That was a great kick, just unfortunate for AC. I mean, this is smart. That's it up, not marked. They're just gonna catching teams when they sleep. <laughs> Looks like AC might have stolen that ball and forced out of bounds. Clemson having some troubles with their lineouts. You know, it's been a problem all season. Let's see if they can clean it up here. well with their fans here yeah a lot of them I mean DC is not too far yeah. I mean it's not it's not close but it's not too far in there this opportunity for the Tigers but it looks like they got the ball in the end look for them to use their forwards here the ball pops out and now Curtis Warner gets Play out on. this is well and then stripped look like that was Dan Collins on the tackle there fourth Play and on. now they just come out of it Blake's no, got the ball he's Roll tackle the south, but he's from Wisconsin. Likes his cheese, and I'll ponder. With oh, the ball. Aaron Kears oh, almost shit. had a chance there to steal that ball. He's going to take a couple guys with him to the deck. We're still playing rugby here, ladies and gentlemen. Curtis Warner is going to go ahead and step over the cloud out, out in, and a good dancing move. Slips one tackle and three next. Toba. Clear out coming through. They're looking to go left. Curtis Warner now. He's getting promised. Something we saw that was Clemson was really good at last year and really disrupted South Carolina because of it. You know, Clemson, uh, Aaron Keir is so close to getting a, uh, what looked like basically a pick five. I had a That's Jason Dom, the All-American, the uh, junior team. Looks like there's some uh, foul play going on, a stern talking to by the referee here. You know, out of character. Thank you, you can go. Not quite sure the uh, final verdict here, but it's by the referee. Captain! But now they're calling both captains together. Both sides are talking the whole time. That causes, all right, I'm now going to step in. If I hear guys talking against each other, it could potentially become. So look at the referee to both captains. To both Looks like they'll huddle up uh, the teams team, here. Team. Some extracurriculars going on, some uh, ugly rocks in the that play right there. You know, that happens a lot, especially under the lights. You know, big fans here. Uh, emotions really get the best of you. And then when you're down, uh, win this game. Yeah. So now we're going to get the action started again. What? Now, 
So the ball went forward, so it's going to be a scrum to AIC. Are we doing on time, Mark? The yellow? The man in the middle is. Crouch! Bye! So Curtis Warner with the feed. Clemson doing a good job. That ball came directly out, and so the ref's going to blow it back up ball and bring it in. Out. And now it's getting. That's. Now, I mean, this is this is a point where it's just getting absolutely a little bit too silly. AIC can't lose their heads. You know, Clemson, same thing, but I think AIC might have been the agitator in that one. Yeah, exactly. The ball popped straight out. He had a hard line. Uh, the whistle blew, and neither player really quit there. Yeah, it's for safety issues. These guys got to calm down. The referee's got to step in and do something. Um, they're causing all sorts of problems. Now Jahad with the ball in hand. He's got to step around, find a little bit of space. He's close to the touchline. Doesn't get out, though. Doesn't get out. Balls out. So it's a lot of back and forth. All the, the, the fluidness that we saw in the beginning of the game is now dissipated, and it's, you know, hot heads are, are prevailing when a cool head should be prevailing. Absolutely. This one, you really need to be Take calm and you really White. need to be able to just execute White. your game plan. But right now, both teams are at fault for just letting their emotions get to them. And it's their sloppy games, sloppy ball drops. Ball goes out to Tommy Ripper. They finally get the pack pass going Inside to James Rogers. James Rogers with a high tackle there. Let's see if the ref calls it. No, I guess it was below the shoulders. Jason Dom, who just no. Oh, the ball is stolen by AIC after a quick counter run. So now Jacob Ponder taking it straight up, doing a good job. Ponder. Fantastic okay. work now. The breakdown. Got time out of there now, and it's through the hand. Good job into James. James is now taking out. Comes the counter rook for Clemson. They're slowing down the ball for Curtis Warner, and he gets popped, and he's got to give one back there in the breakdown. He's going to go. He's got to try and mix up. Oh, baby. There we go. Christian Adams around this field. Floats like he's on a cloud, and it's just fantastic. <laughs> See you when they're going forward. It was knock on, and now it's going to go to Clemson. I mean, I don't know. Clemson's trying their best. Something you can't teach. But uh, Clemson trying their best to hold these turnovers and these uh, these turnovers are really hurting Clemson. Uh, so far, Clemson's done a good job at uh, uh, securing these scrums, but not so much their lineouts. So let's see if they can do it. Chemistry right now. They've been working together really well. And there's Jason Dom right there running towards the scrum half. Something you don't see. Him. Jason Dom, like I said earlier, it takes more than one guy to bring this guy down. He's an absolute animal. Clemson, trying to use their forwards here, get some breathing room for their kicker, Aaron Kears. Aaron Kears not had the best game so far. He gets high, but not as deep as he wanted. That's another uh, missed opportunity, not the best box kick in the world by Ryan Gears, Clemson team. So it'll be a uh, line out in favor of AIC. Tigers there, has had a great success uh, in this season, but not so much against AIC. Very good line out showing so far in this game. Oh, they meters on that run. Yeah. AIC looks looking to use their backs here. Pass there. Clemson coming up, but they're staggered. AIC might be able to uh, take advantage here. And they do off a missed tackle by Dan Collins. Another missed tackle by Josh Dyke. They use it. Colin Gregory gets a hand on him, but can't keep him down. Good wide pass. Drew Donald's the last one. I see. You know, <laughs> once again, the uh, biggest uh, absolutely good cut right through this Clemson defense in their back line. Hey, so he's not using their forwards like you, uh, like a lot of teams Clemson has faced has so far. Really relying on their. Yes. Marcus, tell me when you're going to. Thank you. So Christian Adams just absolutely break. crushing it out there. He had nine times out of ten, but nobody there at home. Christian Adams makes a fantastic dive as he's coming through. Back to our camera shot. We got a TV behind us, so that way we can show you all the videos that Next Level Rugby does. You know, got it. So if you see that behind a lot, yeah, actually, some of this guys that you're going to see out here, a highlight that we did from Jahad Kabir. I mean, he's been absolutely dominant in this game. Uh, it's something that Clemson knew he was going to be good, but they didn't think he was going to be that good. I mean, it's hard to prepare for a player like that. So now, Luis Itama. Washington with the strike, and it's a good strike. Luis Sitama, 21 to 7 right now. It's been a great match. It's 21 to 7, but by no means is Clemson out of this game. You know, once again, Clemson really has to do going into halftime. 
they uh, need to be able to uh, at least get three points on the board right now if they want to carry some momentum into the second half. Dan Collins only to see if he can get this one 10 yards. Last one was an absolute booty, beauty, sorry, defended well by uh, Jason Dom. Uh, looks like Gary Walsh is coming back here who got the yellow. Ranked as they're going to get the ball away. See where they send it. Nice high ball. That's going to go up. Gal brought down. Still driving, keeping the legs pumping, and that's what makes him so Back special. Those legs never stop. It's a constant motor. Now Curtis gets some distance and width through Blaker Gal. Now Christian Adams does a good job of keeping it inside. Gets it back into Castro. Curtis Warner now again. Cutler killing it right now into Cheese's hand. Cheese is running and bubbling. He's through it. Out. Curtis Warner now. Of the dummy, and that's Jihad. He's through the space. He's going to only take it the whole way, ladies and gentlemen. He did this last year. The crowd is going wild. The truth. <laughs> You're witnessing greatness here, and he is young. We have Jihad Kabira, AIC. People in the East Coast Rugby Conference that have to play this team have oh, to fear him. that threat. Not to the team. So okay. now... With a score 26 to 7, Jimmy, it's getting, uh, yeah, now it's starting to pour it on here. That's not a good way for a Clemson. Not one. The last thing they wanted to do was for AIC to put the ball up, score real quick, and have even more points going into halftime. Clemson, I mean, next series, uh, probably going into halftime. Coming out of halftime, they got to come out firing on all cylinders or this game is gone. And I think Clemson knows now there's no point of waiting for anything. You know, leave it all on the field right now. This game's over. So not to jinx Louie, but he's been pretty good all night. Not missing one conversion attempt. Three of these tries for AIC coming close to the touchline. And another successful conversion for Louis Satama. And that's going to bring us to the half as AI 28 to 7, doing all the things that they need to do. You know, Clemson came out early, scored a try, looked fierce, pinned a number for, for a good amount of time of the opening of the first half, and then just absolutely closed out this, this, this half well. Yeah, I mean, not played perfect rugby. They have, uh, you know, not been doing great so far. Any mistake you make of this second half, all all cylinders firing. I mean, if they let up one more try, it looks like this game might be over. AIC has had a dominant last five minutes, and you know it's the last thing Clemson wanted going into halftime. They came out really hot. Hope they can do it again and keep it up. Had an unbelievable game so far. Uh, Jihad has absolutely been going off with some incredible runs, incredible line breaks this guy but the moves he's pulling out here right now it's hard to believe that he's uh only a sophomore he's playing he's playing like an absolute veteran right now this is the highlight of jaha kabir i would tell you him doing some amazing things this was against you math you know we see right here this is what i really like about jaha kabir he was the guy that was in the he's going to take it up step one keeps it going he doesn't Adrian Ray just finishes it off and that's not even the best one if we look now and we come out in here Look at that one-handed offload into Louis Satama. We've already seen Louis doing a lot of stuff. And this right here, this is, is phenomenal in the ruck area. All pumped up, blowing out some bigger guys. And then here, this pace again. And this is a UMass team that run that they had, you know, in the greatest challenge so far. And then we're going to finish it off with just absolute, this is, this is, this, and you got to watch this. Just going to take it up on my steps. Up, one more, two, three. There we go, up, four. Up six, and then he's going to take it the whole way. And that is Jihad Kabir, and he is the fly half that you just scored. Saw a score that last year. Green, this is where I fell in love with Jihad right here, which is floating and able to take it the distance and go all the way. And that was, like our Facebook page as well, Instagram, all that good stuff, Next Level Rugby, and you, uh, you know, American rugby, that, that coverage that we need. Something you don't expect to see from a 19 or 20 year old. You expect that from a 22, 23 year old guy. I mean, that's a talent level I haven't seen in a long time. I think this guy's gonna be very special for the years to come. This is Clemson team. Clemson, who's had a very good defensive year, been able to stop most patterns and attacks. Um, 
Kentucky's been has been absolutely unbelievable. I mean, Clemson has had a great defensive year. They thought they come into this game knowing that he was going to be somewhat of an issue. I don't think they fully understood how good this guy was. Seven to twenty-eight in favor of AIC. Uh, we are at halftime right now. We're about five minutes away from the second half to on the cliff right now. They uh, need to hold real strong right now. Put the pressure on AIC like they did in the first ten minutes of this game. Make mistakes by putting good defensive pressure here. And AIC, their game plan is just to uh, their game plan is just to uh, keep doing what they're doing. You know, they found a able to make Clemson make mistakes with uh, some bad knock-ons. The only improvement AIC needs to make right now is just stop the knock-ons. They're killing themselves there. But those last 10 minutes were almost okay, a perfect, guys, I'll, I'll just uh, go perfect exhibition of Thanks rugby and it's just a little Thank bit of flash today. of what we've seen all really season long from AIC no matter who they're a, a roadblock from again. except for NEC actually right. I got to go back it was the first game of the out. season they played against NEC NEC traveled it was a 24 to 7 season yeah. long and you know and then the UMass match you know it got a little bit out of hand towards the end but UMass for the first 60 minutes of that game were really if you see me buy some piece of I mean, yeah, here. absolute domination for AIC in the first um, half of this uh, season. Of Clemson, you know, had, and, you know, they're seeing just why it's so powerful. And AIC is going against the right, ACRL guys, uh, opponent for the first shot. time this season. You know, these are forwards trying to get some uh, ground and pound rugby going. Different than the norm here, but, you know, with the, with a back line like AIC's, you can't. AIC is going to win. So look for Clemson to try to utilize their forwards here a little bit more. Look for short passes, but some deep runners of forwards. And uh, Clemson, it's like I said, right now, though. Orange captain. All right, here we go. The second half's about right now at AIC. AIC will be kicking off to the Tigers. Uh, so far, the Tigers have had some good success. Lamont takes it cleanly. Second time he's done that, and he has a big break. Lamont, who has speed, one of the first on this team, breaking tackles left and right, using nothing but speed and a stiff arm, and goes out of bounds. Field conditions really getting the best of him. Uh, he is AIC oh. taking the ball quickly here. Go with a quick line out, passing the ball deep and wide. Now, dude, he's cleaning it up to say he's going to look to test it. That's a man out of Las Vegas and defensive line. And now Curtis Warner dangling, brings it back out into a big hit in there. Castro taking the ball. Uh, has it now. Uh, James Rogers right behind him, one of the best ruckers on this team. Ryan, go with the ball. Nowhere. AIC had no one back. But not Gilroy did not get it the way he wanted it to go. AIC kicks the ball out of bounds. It'll be a uh, five-meter scrum, I believe, is what Clemson's elected. You know, it was a smart heads-up play by Ryan Gilroy there. You saw that AIC's black three was back three was uh, playing a little bit too close to the to the vest. So uh, this little box kick, unfortunately, didn't get the positioning he quite wanted. AIC willing, uh, ready to uh, defend. And now, as we look, it's starting to rain out here. So. This Pretty sloppy as the rain starts to come down, so we should be should be pretty good. But so now as it's coming out, ball rumbling around, Clemson knocking on the door. Yeah, away from that. Roll tackler, thank you. That back line on the defense there, they've been absolutely dominating Clemson so far. With their first try, and especially with this rain coming down now, the field is already in pretty soft conditions. Now they're going to try away, to reduce passing as much as possible. The last thing you want to do here is go wide, that go, AIC go. defense. And then if the uh, defense condenses enough, look forwards as long as they possibly can until they get run out of players. Short. So close to the line, about an inch or so away. Rambling on defense now. And there it is. AIC is bunched up. Like I said, they're going to try to swing the ball out. Dan Collins with a nice cross kick. Ball's up to Jordan Lamont. Oh, and the ball is defended by AIC. Collins will try something crazy. Try to catch AIC off guard. You know, they've not been working against this team. Yeah, I really like that option that they go there. You know, put it up there. Probably just a little bit too much. You know, if they had another five five meters to the inside, it would have been good. But it was a good it's a hot bear that was running over there to, to coming out of nowhere. And he's got the speed to close down the distance. We're going and get us underway again. So nice deep. Doesn't try and go after it until it's ready. The ball is being swung out right now. It looks like Nick Johnson. Uh, James Rogers there to clean up with the ruck. Uh, James Rogers, he hits more rucks than any player on this team. And he loves it. A big hit right there for AIC in the ball. AIC trying to get counterattack well here. Clemson finally getting back in the ball. Looked like it was knocked down. It was stolen by Tommy Ripper. Still on his feet. Passes to Josh Dyson. Josh Dyson with support from Stuart Haar. Josh Dyson still on his feet. Finally still on his feet. Looks like a ball is formed. 
Ryan Gilroy with another box kick there. AIC saw coming this time, brings out, brings out defenders, and they catch the ball cleanly, which is hard to do in these tough kick there didn't get as far down as they wanted but still effective in the end as they uh, get the ball out from deep in their own territory it'll be a line out for the Tigers shorter line out throws here look for them to avoid going deep again because test for Clemson to see if they can keep this ball uh, in their possession here they've had some troubles hopefully for the and tips once again I think not straight is going to be the call though Alex Wallers with another uh, not straight ball that has hurt him throughout the season He's gotten better as a you know, uh, late season uh, starter no, once uh, Dan Collins okay, moved to uh, the 10 position. He's still been growing into his own here. He's a great uh, get these lineouts down. So now it'll be a lineout for AIC. Clemson trying to get win one here. I see now looking to use their backs with a nice dummy pass there by the scrum half. Here, no, going with their forwards. AAC trying to get some breathing room for their uh, forwards deep in their own territory. Use it. Good counter ruck by Clemson, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Hands get in. it for the Tigers. Penalty against AIC. Hands in. It's a ruck. They push you off the ball. Looks like you cannot not leaving, I mean, uh, leaving their feet in the rucks. Expect some uh, very sloppy condition from both teams. Okay, it looks like the good. Tigers are going to go for points. Down the board, try to turn things around here, get a nice little momentum shift. That's 10, that's Aaron good. Kears will be kicking the ball. Aaron yes. Kears has been kicking for the Tigers now for three. Currently the uh, highest scoring Clemson Tiger right now. Uh, definitely the highest scoring active Tiger. Uh, <laughs> as we scramble here to get all of our uh, not uh, uh, waterproof uh, equipment out of the... Uh, out of He's about 36 meters away right now. Uh, the rain is slowing down a little bit, but the wind is still pretty strong blowing against... No good. Kick is no good. The score remains 28-7. It'll be a 20. You know, Aaron Kears, uh, last time there was a big game for the Tigers, he had a big, about 45-meter kick against Arkansas State. Yes, just uh, not in the same rhythm he was for that game. Let's go, let's Conditions go. of the uh, rain definitely not helping anyone's cause. And AIC going for a deep kick here, trying to pink. Ball goes straight out of bounds. Clemson electing to take a line out from where the ball was kicked. Uh, because uh, it was a 22 dropout, the ball's not allowed to go straight out. Clemson wisely elects to take the line out from where the ball was kicked, which is a 22 meter line. Hopefully for Clemson, they can get something going with their line outs here. Earlier in the game, they led to a, to a uh, try, but since then, not much going in their line outs. Two overthrows, three missed balls, just not, not what they want to see. All right, Alex Wallace with the throw, going back to Tommy Ripper. Tommy Ripper gets the ball cleanly to James Rogers. James Rogers well, looks like some accidental interference there. It was immaterial, did not affect the play. Jason Dom with the ball. Jason Dom That's is an absolute good. monster with the ball. Looks like Alex Waller's getting driven back by the Check strong AIC roll. defense. There, Josh Jason from the DC area, you play with a lot of these AIC guys, has something to prove to his former teammates that the ball was knocked on. So it looks like forward. it'll be a AIC here. Clemson getting some offense Watch going, but unfortunately shooting themselves in the foot with some uh, knock-ons, drops, and penalties. Right. I, I um, quick points on the board, but, but uh, didn't get it on that penalty kick by Ian Kears, uh, which was about... 40 because meters out, so not an easy out. kick at all. All right, don't do that, please. All right, for AIC to try to clear the ball here. Five, six. Still coming down fairly hard. Wind is uh, picking up a little bit. Penalty against AIC. You cannot go. Looks like Ryan Gilder want to take the ball quick. They're gonna grab the ball quick to what looks like Drew Dommel, and Drew Dommel gets smushed on his feet somehow. Oh, but he's held up, and the ball is down, and try is awarded. That is a try for the Tigers off a costly AI. You, you actually swerve around and then you... Not quite sure who ended up getting that the, try there. Just, just Tommy Ripper, but I'm not sure. On, on your man and don't come around and push into his All right, thanks. That's my guess. That's not just my, me being a brother bias there. Uh, but it looks like off a Kasi AAC penalty, Tigers like to take it quick, and they score off a hard run. And the Clemson fans starting to come alive. Moments of this game, but the score now stands 15, I mean, sorry, 14 to 28. Pushes in under the ribs of the. So AIC of here, they are uh, yeah. looking to keep playing the way they were playing at the end of the first half with almost some good defense, some hard hitting runs, 
but Clemson really changing the offense here a little bit. You know, trying to get points as quickly as they can, using the advantage, uh, not going with these big looping passes, which makes sense in this weather. With the rain coming down, you know, passes will not be easy to uh, pull off. High cleanly. Jason Dom sheds a tackle somehow. I don't know how he got out of that one. Still on his seat, a beautiful run good. there. AIC quick on defense, setting up, and it looks like the Swallers with some good support there from the uh, Clemson uh, forwards. Clemson, once again, just using their forwards here. Looks like that was a pass to Aaron Key for the Iraq. Good counter rock by AIC. Dan Collins, oh, when the kick is charged down. Dan Collins' kick is charged down. AIC quick on the ball. And that's Jahad Kabir. <laughs> Jahad just chasing that ball down. And that was just some fantastic work. Scramble player in this game. You know, we see it again on display. And unfortunately, your brother's try is answered right away by Jihad. His son was coming from Jihad. He's an intense player, as we've seen. But, you know, to have the composure, to charge down that kick by Dan Collins, stay on his feet, pick the ball up on the run, and while the ball is moving, very impressive play. Something a lot of players will not be able to do. So 28 minutes and 52 seconds left. It's Tama has been perfect all night long, having a great percentage throughout the season as well. Lines this one up. It is uh, con other attempts and angles that he's had to deal with. This one's an easy one for Louie, and hopefully I don't broadcasters curse him on this one. So, and it's good to go. So didn't jinx him on that one, but now we're underway. We did a mad scramble trying to pull all of our gear back and keep it from getting wet. So we're now back in. And Clemson's gonna go ahead and have the restart. You know, a little longer than he probably wanted on that kick, but a good take by AAC. So Gavin, but obstruction taking is the call four, as he goes up. So now Clemson in a great position. Four, Three points, not going to do it against his Yeah, it looked like Aaron Kears, the kicker there, wanted to go for points. But Ryan Gilroy smartly saying that we need seven here. Three, like you said, three won't do much when a 30. Like I said earlier, I've never seen a player earn the role of captain more than he has. He's a smart, high rugby IQ. You know, he's been playing rugby. I've never seen players respect the captain. Like, they respect him. and. That's coming from a former captain right here. So uh, I think he's doing a great job. But uh, he has something going here. Oh, it's disrupted by AAC. That James Rogers cannot get a ball on it, but picked up by Clemson. And looks look for Clemson to use their forwards here. Last time they had a good at the good job. Josh Austin trying to prove himself to his uh, former high school teammates. AIC with some good You have to earn every inch of rug of the of the picks that you get. And Clemson knows that, AIC knows that, and it Ranks battle right now. This is just some sloppy and a big hit right there against Josh Dyson. Josh Dyson has the uh, tenacity to bring the ball down on his own terms, though. Good job in defense. Clemson just once yeah, again see, making fine. an inch and inch, just Get getting away. closer and closer to that try zone. But you know, never count AIC out. They always have, and they do. That is a try for the Clemson Tigers. And you know, like we said earlier, the shootouts coming. Tommy Rivers scored a quick try, and then Jihad scored the charge down try on the kick by Dan Collins run there. So uh, AIC, with a great response last time the Tigers scored a try. Let's see if they can do it again. Stands 19 to 35. Uh, extra kick coming from Aaron Kears. Aaron Kears, who's not had his best night, but not a bad night. Uh, he missed one. Just a reminder, that uh, whole series of play came from Ryan Gilroy's decision not to go for points uh, deep in. Uh, chose to go for the uh, try. Chose to go uh, for the line out deep in the territory and it worked out for him. A good heads up decision by the captain. Something you want to see if you're And it is good. Uh, James. He stands 19 to 35. Last time AIC had a great response to the uh, Clemson try. Let's see if they can do it again. Clemson looking to, to just pile on the points right now. Currently stands 21 to 35. My apologies. <laughs> So Clemson also successful on all the kicking coming through. Louis Atama is going to get us back underway. Next level rugby bringing you the ACRC 2018 Collegiate Bowl Series. Brian Ginty, Jimmy Ripper is in the booth with me. He's up here. His other half, bigger half, is on the pitch. Just scored trying a big tackle. And I, no way. Anything to report on 
number 10. All right. I'm happy that there was no serious thing, but you did take him through the 90 there, right? So we're listening in on the right. It wasn't super serious. It wasn't that bad. It was a big hit. And so he's just going to give him a warning on that. Jihad, give a card for that. But Clemson fails to find touch, and now Christian Adams has got ball in hand. He's just going to take it straight out. You're not going to take him. Big hit there goes again. You're not going to get him. Christian Addison. Adams is going off, going to him, and now he's going. They got numbers out wide into Lewis. Ponder blunders the catch there, and unfortunate from Jacob Ponder. I mean, some exciting stuff. Christian Adams just absolutely destroying this defense, cutting it right up, finally gets stopped, get it out, and the only thing that stops him is the ponder ball not coming to him, running. Looked like the counter was on, but Christian Adams, even if there's not a lane, he'll make a lane. Oh, man, I feel a little bad for maybe cursing Ryan Gill in the beginning of this game. Fine touch. I think he just got a little bit too Coach. cocky there. Tried to put AIC back. I mean, uh, try to get a lineup Set. deep in AIC territory, but he just didn't have the distance up from Ryan Gilroy. Look for him to take some more conservative kicks as this game progresses. Jason Dom, once again, he gets the ball in that scrum. He's guaranteed to go at least five meters. Ball's loose somewhere. Ref says play on. Looks like AIC has the ball they do. So now the ball out. AIC's going to plow straight forward. Rook's coming in, but it's stopped. Sit down, sit down, four, sit down. So we're waiting to see what's going on, and I think we have a serious injury going on right now. Ref for, it looks like Gavin's down. He's dealt with some leg injuries this season. Looks like he may be dealing with something upper body, maybe a head. Okay, there was a clash of heads. So a clash of heads it was, and Gav's up. He is, everyone's checking, and he looks to be cleared out, and then somebody on the ground. That is uh, Ethan Haar, he's a sophomore, no, freshman starter actually, brother of uh, Stuart Haar. You saw Stuart going to check up on him real quick. Uh, looks like, it doesn't look based on the fact that the referee looked pretty quick to call the medic there. Uh, he's also a tough kid. Um, you know, he always likes to impress his brother. If he goes out on his own will, if he is taken out of this game, then you know it's absolutely necessary. So uh, he's getting up now, on his own two feet was good, getting checked out by the medics. Uh, make sure he didn't get hit in the head too hard. Referee coming to take a look at him right now. Uh, hopefully he's fine. It looks like he's going to be okay. He seems uh, to be standing uh, seven days in the game. But then again, with these head injuries, you never know. You always want to play it safe. Yeah, I'm thinking if it's taken this long to assess, uh, he needs to take a seat. Um, no longer the tough days of saying just shake it off, rub some dirt on it. My old high school football coach would get injured. He'd be like, rub some dirt on it. You know, this is a concussion protocol. They're going to bring it back now. It's a clash of heads, you know, going head to head with Gavin to AIC, you know, you got weapons on either side. You got Louis Satama on the left-hand side of uh, the pitch and Jahe and Christian Adams, and then uh, Ponder and Deshae Edwards outside Satama, and a great drive from the forwards. Now, Ponder, stiff arms, that's been effective for AIC. He's going to keep it going. Christian Adams over the top, ball out. Now into Gavin, he's going to lower his shoulder. Gavin takes on three Clemson defenders, big holes in that defense. They can get it out left. It's slowed down, but now Jihad looking up around. Now he's still slipping Jihad again. The greatness, the truth, and he gets it in there. And that's a fantastic try for Anthony Cutler, the eight man. <laughs> fantastic. I see. Uh, yeah, Clemson just caught on their heels there. You know, they're trying to get back on defense, but AIC just going so quickly, it's hard to you have to face these players coming at you full speed. AIC was a great pattern right there. Uh, some great overall Josh athleticism, some Back smart playing by AIC, not coming one bit. They were overloading the right side. AIC looked at, looked at it, okay, noticed it, and you. swung the ball out left. Yeah, that that's what we were looking at. They got a big to the left, and that's just that switch. Like you talked, they folded over, but didn't do a good job of folding enough. Yeah, no. And then overcommit, and that's where you run the you run a danger. And, you know, it's like and a smart heads-up team, they're going to make you pay for that. Absolutely. You know, it, it's a two-level two, step, two system, really, where go, you notice the initial hole. But you just don't want to overfill like Clemson got caught doing. They overcommitted too many players. AIC, just some great heads up rugby, seeing it, taking the ball out quick, swinging the ball out to the weak side, make people miss. So we're getting a chant from the crowd. AIC, they're the loudest crowd that we've had here tonight at the rack, but South Carolina fans, they're laying in wait. That 
They're going to be taking on Tennessee, and that's the SCRC championship match. The trophy was sitting, is sitting right behind us right now, and uh, that uh, really looking forward to that. Clemson played South Carolina, and Louis <laughs> perfect on the night. So 42 to 21, Jimmy, is Clemson out of this game? It's hard. Need, I've been saying it all game. They need something. They need something now. If they don't score within the next three or four minutes, they are out of this game. As much as it hurts me, too, with 18 minutes left, you have absolutely no time to lollygag. You have to score, and you have to score right now. Ryan Gilroy taking over kicking duties from Dan Collins. Let Dan Collins is out. Line Ryan up. Gilroy has two back kicks in a row. Up. I don't know if it's a mental thing, fatigue, or something, but he's got to uh, get his kicks up. in order if he wants any chance. So kick not coming off, and it's uh, going to go. Going to bring it back to just about the 50. Next level. Best view of collegiate rugby today. We've had so far a number of games that have just absolutely gone off and been fantastic. Two more to go. Tennessee and South Carolina coming up next. And then no, Indiana Kutztown in the main stop. event. Kutztown doing really good. Indiana in the Big Ten, you know, having a fantastic season. I'm Ryan Ginty. I was here with Jimmy Ripper, but I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pass the mic off to Alex Goff. That way you don't have to listen. And then we'll return during the SCRC championship match. And now, Alex Goff, take it away, buddy. Take it away, just like that. Uh, a little bit of the main event as well. And, Jimmy, uh, Clemson wanted to play really, really tough. They've, they played Life University. That was a challenging match, obviously. This has got to be sort of a, a really different look for them. Uh, Clemson, you know, this team, they always want to play tougher competition. They're never happy playing down teams. You know, they won the ACRO. Stay on, stay on, stay on. But they're, uh, they, they always want to play someone better. They're never satisfied with the level of competition. And you know what? Sometimes some teams come out there and they just Get outwork away, you. Like, you. they need something big. But, you know, it's just a level of competition that Clemson has to get used to. Well, you've seen in person more ACRL games than I've seen. Uh, here we go, Kabir, one more time. That turn of pace, you can't coach speed. <laughs> coach, hey, ball handling and second effort, and they have that as well. But do they see an opponent like this in the ACRL? Well, in the ACRL, you have a lot more games. You know, a lot of rough and like rough and tumble, pick the ball up, short passes. They've Clemson has never faced a team with such explosive, talented backs like this. And Clemson knew it was going to be whichever backs had a better day would win, because the forwards on both teams are both very impressive, but cancel each other out. And, you know, AIC gets utilized such smart players, such uh, athletic, intense players. I don't think Clemson really saw this coming. Well, second effort, that's the thing that's been a watching AIC is they get hit and they still power through. They power through and they have so much confidence that somebody will be there to support. We saw some earlier games over and therefore turn the ball over. AIC not turning the ball over. Clemson not really turning the ball over much except for the get the knock-ons in the, in the rain. But in terms of just having the ball poached because nobody was there to clear out, these guys are, are getting on top of it. Jihad Kabir, turn of pace. I hope as he moves up in the ranks, they keep him at number 10. Luis Satama with his kick. Another one that looks good. This one, finally he misses one. Pride of Bud Bay Barbarians in Olympia, Washington, my hometown. And uh, that is the club that also produced Scotland there in the top left-hand corner of the United States. He decides to go all the way to Massachusetts, uh, uh, University of Connecticut, and he missed most of his kicks because he left his tee at home, and he ended up doing drop kicks in the end. Certainly, he's remembered his... And again, the hand... You know, they're, they're, they're toying with it now. Uh, it's been really hard work for Clemson. Ponder, bring it out to Satana. Oh, he wanted to get it to Edwards, just uh, that offload, a little bit too high over the shoulder, knocked forward. But it is really hard work. We talk about hard work. Defense that makes you run. You miss a tackle, everybody has to run 30 minutes. They have four, five, six guys there in support. So Clemson can't just have one guy there to make a tackle. They will offload it. They will offload it efficiently. Got a good play there. Clemson is now really playing to uh, expecting the AIC to swing the ball out wide because it works so well for them. And there, AIC wide, cut it back inside and make a big break. And uh, Tommy River was just barely there in time to get that tackle. Big break, unfortunate knockoff for AIC. Clemson with the scrum now. Clemson scrum so far. Looking to get back on track. This game is... Uh, Slipping their grass at every second this uh, game goes on. 
Clock not really there. It goes in against the head, comes out the back. Everything piling up. Dodds and cats living together. Mass hysteria, but they're going and still going to be a put in for Clemson. Andres Echeverria, is he Uruguayan? Everybody just left. I believe so. He uh, went to Gonzaga College High School where okay. a lot of these starters did. Yeah, I believe you, you in Argentina, you see that there's several. Uh, the, it, I think it's actually a national law that the Uruguayan national team have somebody named Echeverry on their team. And possibly someone. Kabir now, sidestep, offload. Those offloads are going to hand. You notice that. 50 50 passes that they always work. Edwards takes it in. Ponder now gathers it up, just goes straight into Take contact. Knows that's all Almost he needs to do. All right. Release. <laughs> the fake and Corey Momsen goes in. Kabir through. He's got Edwards with him. I don't know if he's going to need him. Goodbye. Good night. Try in the corner. Jihad Kabir <laughs> is highest gear right then. But he is a special talent. But it is more than that. Some really nice work from those forwards in that Clemson defense. Yeah, they're really stretching them out. Clemson trying their best to contain these backs, but you know, it's really hard when you have talent like this. Uh, this game just went from bad to bad. Uh, clock keeps ticking. The numbers keep going up, but not for their side. Uh, you hate to say it, but it looks like Clemson might be playing for pride right now, and uh, this team's got a lot of pride. But uh, right now, Clemson really needs to get something going here. It's, it's looking harder and harder as this game progresses. In your own scrum on that so AIC as good as anyone else in uh, in terms of taking turnover ball whether it's a scrum or they are made for that and they are so confident everyone's so confident in what they do support because everyone knows and you and and pace for one player great pace for three or four even better now Charles type character is uh, Jacob Ponder at outside center uh, he's not as flashy but you see that he took that bad uh, as, the, as the kick goes off a little bit to the right from Satama. He takes the bad pass, and all he does is he goes straight ahead. Let's reset. Sets other people up. It's very important to have someone like that as well. Great team chemistry. You see that. Um, Jimmy, happy to see also that the, the tension in the game just sort of ramped down just a little yeah. bit. There was some anger. Uh, maybe a few words exchanged. You know how in the way, and uh, they settled down and just played some rugby. Yeah, some frustration really uh, boiled over here for both teams, and it looks like they, like you said, they have calmed down. Both teams. Just hurts to say it's a job of that life game all over again, where they were in the game for most, uh, most Four of like the first 50. Minutes. You know, the score was five nothing in favor of life, and then the last 20 or 30 minutes they absolutely unloaded. And, bring uh, it here, bring it here, all over that's a bit of Tigers, as They've been in this bring Life it. University, but well, they've been, they had a fighting chance for most of this game, well, majority of this game, they've had a chance to win. And then just now, in the last waning minutes of this, just go right to their fingertips. Now, some great plays by AIC, but also some missed tackles. Tackling, a little bit of uh, despair perhaps creeping in. It is uh, really tough to look at that scoreboard, facing it as they are. But let's see what they can do with this. Another pick up and drive from Dan, but pass down on the knee, lost. Now, right through, he's going. He, he lost it inside, I don't know if that was forward, no, it's good, but it's fumbled. Throw, <coughs> I think, not able to hold on to it. Lost it. A lot of work uh, on the AIC is the women's coach, but he's come in and he's been working with the backs uh, on some extra days, trading on working together. Uh, Ron Gary working very hard with the forwards, and it uh, it's a nice combination, teamwork. Company with more programs is that if the men's team and the women's team, in terms of the coaching staff, work together, well, the, everyone's supporting each other. Atmosphere, of course, the greatest team sport in the world. So, uh, a couple of subs going on with uh, with Clemson again. Brighter orange jerseys, as you see, as they're coming on. 54 to 21, Wanna just about seven, seven guy. and a half minutes Crouch. left in this game. Why? AIC I got one team for the fall, but not in the strongest of positions. Certainly a loss would have hurt them in a situation where they could win it. The kick ahead. Here's another chance. Oh, it goes through dead. 
22 scrub. But AIC has put 22. an emphatic stamp on their season and said, yes, we are good enough. Number one ranking, 54 points on a team. The quality of Clemson, well, it's pretty impressive. That ball, that's a wobbly one, and it went. <laughs> As Clemson players standing there saying, please bring it back. Jimmy, what's the what Bring is the feeling here. about the Clemson program? Obviously, with the coaching uh, okay. switch over, Justin Hickey, moved, basically, uh, and and Stephen Lynch coming in. What uh, you know, what's the feeling about the future? Cup coach of the year, ACRL two-time coach of the year. We, when this happened, Gross. we understood why he was leaving for his family reasons to move back home, but. Uh, a new attitude, a new uh, game style, very open play, very South uh, Southern <laughs> Hemisphere type of uh, right. players have really uh, backed it and respected his uh, viewpoint. And uh, with a team like Clemson, you know, our players, we're not all, uh, it's not a rugby specific, specific yeah, school. Bad. So it's not easy for a coach, Ball especially a new coach, guys, to gain the respect of rugby players and expect the very best out of them 100% of the time. when. Schedule, he's done a great job. He understands Set. what it means to be a Clemson yes. student and how busy your schedule can be. So uh, he's done a great job. And like I said, you'll never replace Mickey, but Stephen Lynch is doing a great job being uh, a great coach for this team. He's, he's decided to be Stephen Lynch yeah, and not exactly. be Justin Hickey, right? And that, that is the way to do that. Uh, and at the same time, don't run down the guy that you replaced, which, yeah. of course, he wouldn't do. So uh, a smooth coaching transition. You don't often see those. And uh, uh, happy to see that with Clemson. Clemson had a fantastic season this fall. Uh, blew through the ACRL. Some thought as to whether the ACRL is strong enough competition for Clemson. But they threw in some other teams to play as well. And, uh, and good for them for playing this team. A team from a school that not a lot of people think about. Even so, American International College is 140 years old. It's still somehow, it's, people think it's a new school. Well, they just play a lot of Division I caliber rugby, and it's an exciting brand as well. Kick charge down, it ends up Blake Gurgle will throw it in. You see the uh, form of James Everhart, the sub prop oh, with his clean oh. Jersey clean uniform for AIC, and now they go straight up. Out again, Kabir fakes it to Ponder, sets it out to Sitama. Sitama with close to ground, and the kick ahead. Werner kicks it, and it is gathered. Touchdown. Advantage. Was that Kears touching it down? And we're going to come back because we had an offside penalty Coming against Clemson. Side. So kind of a free play to kick it into the... And we, uh, we're seeing a little bit better kicking skills than we saw from some of the earlier teams. And those are the skills, that, the offload skills are just, uh, they the best I've seen this weekend. A very nice kick to the corner, just... 22... Scrum. Well, yeah, it, it did go to It's okay. And then, scrum. no, it went through dead, so it will go back with a, a scrum, scrum down on the spot. A kicking mistake, an execution mistake. But you know what? The, the reason they make that mistake, AIC counterattack, they counterattack at 100 miles an hour. They want to attack you at every Five. opportunity. There's a lot of confidence in Set. this team. Opponent, maybe, maybe that confidence bites them, but we, we haven't seen way, it please? happen this fall yet. Well, they do against some of the other teams that play primarily in the spring. Not saying, but it would be fun to watch. Crouch! Bye! Set! Steady, yes. Etcheberry. Balls out. Clemson, it comes out, squirts out the back. Werner dives on it. So difficult ball. Have to roll away. And do so. Sitting in fact, the they ball. force a penalty by AI. And they're able to lift that siege. But we've got about a minute or so to go now. 
one more score. Maybe get it up to 28. Let's think about that first. But Got a, minute. a torrid last few minutes of the second half, uh, the first half, excuse me, and then the last chunk of the second half. Houston was inching their way closer, take a, take a scored step. two nice tries after the, uh, the early one, and then two nice tries in the second half. He had a ball game, and then uh, another try by AIC kind of gave them some breathing room, and then suddenly, quick, 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 <laughs> and then three calls offside the against guy, AIC. The, the guy, ball uh, was might have long been a uh, push off on Andres Echeverria after he threw the ball. Looks like no bind. And really unnecessary at this point. But you see, you know, it's great to see uh, yeah, these players come all the way down to, to cheer on both of these teams. And we're going to see more as we see U.S. Sir, soon. Uh, Stay right play. here the for that, the hit. SCR. In case you're interested in other D1 action, Middle Tennessee State beat Central Florida. Florida Inter Florida International and Middle Tennessee State will play for the SIRC final tomorrow. Humbled ahead. Ponder just wriggling around and then stripped. All knocked out of his hands. And that'll be it. That'll be the game. And for Clemson, not what they wanted. But, I mean, uh, performance by them. Absolutely. You know, Clemson, these players love playing hard competition. So, you know, they were excited to play AIC. And AIC, the silver lining for all you Clemson fans out there is that they never quit. You know, they, they could have easily just backed down and just stopped playing and let them more tries. Well, this Clemson team never quit. And hats off to AIC. Absolute amazing performance, uh, especially for from uh, uh, Jihad there. He's got my vote for player of the match. I can only assume he wins the whole thing. But, uh, you know, tough game for the Tigers, but I think they're happy to play such a high level of competition at Center. Jimmy, thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate, really appreciate it. it. We enjoyed having you on. And uh, American International College, fantastic by them. And as Jimmy said, it was close, and then it wasn't close at all. And Jihad Kabir just blew them apart. Christian Adams was a power runner. Uh, made some big runs, some big plays, but also his goal kicking. He missed a couple at the end, but he got his first six and points on to that. Just so difficult to come back against that. AIC wanted to play a team here, a Varsity Cup team, to prove what they were about. And the Yellow Jackets that golf rugby report for the fall going into this game. Uh, certainly there was a situation where one of any four or five teams could have pulled into number one. But AIC said, you know, 54-21, what do you think about that? So, tremendous performance by AIC. We're going to get the awards down on field level. And stay tuned. We will be back with USC against Tennessee. The Southeastern Championship game with these two big old trophies right next to us. We'll be back. Soon here we got the awards.
Let's hear it for the winners.
a bomb. Always smiling. Wait, it's coming down. Okay, let's see. I'll, uh, I can take over now if you want. And then, uh, Charlie.